today we're going to be taking a look at an update to one of my favorite Wi-Fi cameras from Ubiquiti. It first started out with the G3 Instant that provided a small form factor 2 megapixel indoor wireless camera. Then after the G3 we got an upgrade to the G4 Instant which allowed us the ability to use it outdoors at a 4 megapixel and it also gave a smart vehicle and person detection. Today, we now have the G6 Instant, which is truly an amazing camera. The G6 Instant keeps the same form factor, but packs a big upgrade. Let's jump right in and take a closer look at the G6 Instant. And here we have the G6 Instant, which is the same form factor as the G4. I think it may be a little bit bigger. On the front, we have this piece or a flap that we could take off the lens. The G6 Instant is 4K 30 frames per second, and it also has two-way audio. So it has a microphone, and it also has a speaker. On the back of the G6 Instant, there is this grommet, so if we're gonna be using the mount, we have to pull this grommet out. It also comes with this mount, and all we need to do, we need to place the mount inside the hole and then use a Phillips screwdriver to screw it down. With the mount installed, it is on a pivot, so if we need to angle it either up and down or left and right, we're able to do that, which is really nice. And it does come with a couple different mounting accessories. So we have this bracket that we would actually screw into the wall and it comes with sticky pads, which I'll be using just temporarily for the front of my house to get some footage of the G6 Instant. Just like the G4 Instant, this is weather rated so we could have it outside and there's this flap here that we need to bring up to give us our connection down into our power. One other new thing that you're gonna see is there's an SD card slot and this would be used for our edge recording and then we have our reset button. Now that we've seen what the G6 Instant looks like, let's get it into our Unify Protect application using Autolink. I'm gonna click on Protect, and after a second, the G6 Instant should pop up, and we see it right here. The distance is near, and we are using Bluetooth connectivity, and the camera actually tells you that the camera has been set up and it is ready to stream. So if we look down below under Unify Protect, we should be able to see it. And there we go, right on the bottom, you could see it. You could see me a little bit and my gaming headset. What I'm gonna do with this camera, I'm gonna put it at my front door so it captures some faces. It may be able to capture some license plates of people coming into the driveway. So we'll take a look at that. We'll see what it looks like during the day, and what it looks like during the night. I've now attached the G6 Instant to a pole in the front of my house, and you could see that right here. And there is a pretty good angle on this camera. I could see quite a bit. So if we click on the G6 Instant, at the top it's saying this unknown has a poor Wi-Fi connection. That's because it's at the front of my house and all my APs are at the back. If I was keeping it here permanently, I would add another access point closer to my door. Right on this page, it tells us quite a bit. It's gonna tell us our status and our connection, which is currently poor because we're getting a signal of minus 72 dBm. But it'll also tell you the model device, IP address, and MAC address. That's pretty standard for most of their devices. At the bottom, we could see the edge recording, which we would put an SD card in. I don't have an SD card in here, but it works the same as like the AI turret. Let's take a look at our recording settings. We have our recording manager, which would allow us to manage multiple cameras at one time. And then we have our recording options. So we could have this set to do always, which is 24 seven. We could have it on a custom schedule or we could have it never recording. We also have our recording mode, so either continuous or events only. If we click on events only, it would just do whatever events that we have selected under the video detections and the audio. Below that, we have the create motion events, which I have deselected because I don't care about that as I'm using the AI events. And under our AI events, this is where the differences between the G4 instant and the G6 instant happen. We have animal detection, we have face and license plate detection, which the G4 Instant never had. It had person, vehicle, and it had animal. So that is a big upgrade, especially if you're looking for facial recognition and LPR. Another big difference is under our recording resolution. This camera could do 4K where the G4 could only do 2K, and it is quite a crisp looking camera. And we'll take a look at that in a second. We'd also do our motion zones, our smart detection zones, crossing line, and we could do the privacy blackouts. I may do a crossing line eventually just to see how many people come up to my door. This is the view from the G6 Instant where I currently have it positioned. So it's on my driveway and we could actually see the road. So when people are pulling their cars in, we're gonna capture their license plate. And when people walk on my driveway, we're gonna capture their face. We could also do some other options by clicking on the settings. This is gonna allow us to do image tuning as well as motion zones and our smart zones. 
and we could set our overlay information. If we want to have the time on the screen, we could just select that and then the time will show up in the corner. With the G6 Instant, we could also highlight different events. So we could do face, person, vehicle, license plate, animal, or we could do the confidence level. Now, I don't have a G4 instant to test between the G6 and the G4, but Clay over at DPC Technology, I'm sure does, so I will leave a link to his channel down below. I've had this camera up probably about a week, so let's see how many license plates it's captured as well as how many faces. So I'm gonna go over to all events, but we're only selecting the G6 instant. From here, we're gonna go to person, but we're gonna select face detection. As you can see, it did pick up my face quite a bit, as well as people who were delivering stuff to my front door, and this was fairly accurate. We could see that a couple times it didn't recognize that it was me, but I could merge those faces together. For license plate recognition, it did pick up a lot of the cars, and I would say it was about 75% accurate. The positioning of this camera isn't that great for the LPR, but every time I went into my driveway, it did recognize my car as well as my brother's truck. So that's fairly good, especially that this is just sitting at my front door. We're now gonna take a look at the clip from the nighttime and it is 11.29 in the evening. I'm gonna press play and you could see people walking from the right hand side. It is pretty good, you could tell their features. It would be nicer if they were a little bit closer to the camera, but I don't think this night vision is too bad. In saying that my street is very bright, so if you live out in the country, it may look a little bit different. And that's gonna be it for my video on the G6 Instant, and I really do like this camera. I used to use the G4 Instance for indoor when we went away to watch our cats, which you could see here. The upgrades with it being 4K, also doing face and license plate recognition is a huge bonus, and I think it's well worth the cost. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button if you're new here. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.